Hey guys, after my video last week, I got a number of requests asking for a bit of a caliber tutorial, kind of showing you how to use it a little bit more, I guess. I'm not really sure what people wanted for a tutorial in addition to what I shared, but today I thought I would share how I take free books from Project Gutenberg and put them onto my Kobo using Caliber. Now, Project Gutenberg has books that are in the public domain, which I just found out this last, in the last few months, that different countries have different rules for like, what is a public domain book? Because I think I was looking for a book and I was like, how is this not in the public domain yet? My husband and I did some research and apparently different books have different or different countries have different rules for that. I want to read more classics and I do like physical books for classics. A lot of the books on my shelf there are classics, but some of them are harder to find. And I generally like to buy mine secondhand and you can't find them all that way. So Project Gutenberg is a great resource for that. One of the things that they do not do well is having covers of books. So today I wanna to show you, walk you through how I download books from Project Gutenberg, the different options that I pick for that, how I find covers for my books, and do all that. My point with this video, as well as the one from last week, is not to illegally download books. The books that I downloaded from Kindle, I was still reading myself, like the ones I shared last week, still reading myself just on a different device because my Kobo is much quicker and much easier to read on. Project Gutenberg, they're in the public domain, so they're free for anyone to download. Um, please don't leave tips in the description on how to illegally download and share books. That's not what this is about. I want to support authors. I don't want to rip them off. If I come across any frequently asked questions as you guys leave comments, I will do the same thing I did in my video from last week. I will pin a comment with some of the most frequently asked questions and the best answer that I have found. I will also leave that in the description, but I'm not like the world's most techie person. So I will not be able to answer every little question, every detail. I am doing this with my Kobo. I have not tried connecting my Kindle to Caliber because I want to use that as little as possible. I don't know if this process is the same. Um, I want to use this device. So this is the one that we're gonna be using for this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to the Project Gutenberg website. I'll have that linked below, but it's just gutenberg.org and this website has not really gone undergone any changes in the last number of years. It's very dated. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do though is ser search for whatever book we want. Um, I'll search for Elizabeth Gaskell because I want to read more of her books and I don't own them all. Um, Cousin Phyllis, I do want to read that one and I do not have it downloaded, but this is one of the rare books that actually has a cover here on Project Gutenberg and I kind of want to show you how to put your own cover on. I'll just download this one anyway and I'll also download one that does not have a cover yet. So the option that I choose, there's quite a few different options. You can read it online, you can read it with an EPUB 3 or an EPUB or an EPUB, no images. I want images. If there's images in the book, I usually will pick just the regular EPUB or sometimes the EPUB 3. I don't really know what that is. Usually I'll just pick the regular EPUB option and I will save that in my books folder, but I will name it what the book is actually called. Okay, so that's saved. Let's see what else there is for Elizabeth Gaskell that I don't have. Uh, I did just download some the other day. Here's one I have never heard of half a lifetime ago. I'm gonna download this one. And same thing, I'm gonna pick the EPUB in case there's some images. Not a lot of the older books have images, but like someone like Dickens, he had, uh, what was that guy's name? Fizz? Oh, I can't remember what, if that was his name, uh, but he did a lot of the illustrations for the Dickens books. And as much as I kind of hate the illustrations, I still want them in there if they're available. So I'm just gonna cheat here and steal this name and we're gonna download that one. Okay, so we've got those two EPUBs downloaded. Now we're gonna go into Caliber and click Add Books. 
So I'm going to pick those two that I have here. And I already do have Cousin Phyllis, so I won't add it again. Apparently I already did download it. So we've got Half a Lifetime Ago in this terrible cover. And this is like probably one of the things I love Caliber for the most is changing out the covers. So you can go over here where it says edit metadata and this is where you get to change things. So if the book is part of a series, you can put that in here, write the number of series. This will help organize books in your Kobo much easier. Um, it has no information about what the book is about. So for that, I head back to the Project Gutenberg listing and scroll down to this about the book, which is apparently an automatically generated summary. And I just copy it over because I often don't read summaries, but sometimes I do. So I'll put that in there. And then the other thing we want to do is change the picture. So I'm going to search for this book on Google here, and I'm gonna swing over to the images and find the best picture that I can for it. With a lot of classics, there are a lot of different options. Um, I'm gonna put her name in it too. And sometimes the options are kind of terrible. Sometimes all of them are, sometimes some of them are so like, what? I'm not, I'm not picking that. Oh, that's, that's, that one's painful. Some, I was gonna say sometimes they're so terrible, they're kind of awesome, but that one was not. Um, I could go for like a vintage look, although it was obviously scanned in crooked. That would just bother me, I think. Yeah, so I will, look to see which one is the best option. I'm really struggling with this one. I like this one. I will save this image and then I go over into Caliber and hit browse. Oh, I have to edit that image down. Oh, I'm too lazy to do that. I'm gonna find a different one. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go for this. I also try to look to see what it says for size. Here in the bottom right hand corner, it's 771 pixels by 1000 pixels. Um, sometimes if the only option is a tiny image, I'll take it. It will make it grainy on the cover of your Kobo, but you can't always tell so much. This one's, this one's a decent size. So we'll come into Caliber and I'll insert that image. And yeah, it's still not the greatest, but whatever, it'll work. So I'll hit OK. Now what I wanted to show you is how to um, do this in a bulk way. So I'm going to download another book here quickly. I've never heard of Lindsay Lee by Elizabeth Gaskell. Interesting. Um, download that. I'm going to just label it. Then come in, do exactly the same thing, add it in. I'm going to add in this text, copy and paste. And we have to look for this one in pictures, which might not have any good options either. Okay, um, there is, there's, there's options. We've got very sad. We've got um, also very sad, um, very lame. Um, okay, this girl looks vain. I kind of like the vintage feel of that. This one's more modern feeling. I kind of like that. There, there's so many options. Now this is making me very curious to know what this book is about. Mostly it looks very sad. I'm just gonna go with like a modern look here. We will take this one. And we will add that one in. Okay, so now these are both in my caliber as EPUBs. Because I have a Kobo, I want to turn these into Kobo files so that Kobo will take all the stats and be able to tell me how much time is left in the book. When my Kobo is in the sleeping state, it says on the front of the book, 
how much percentage I'm done and how much time I have left. If it's just a regular EPUB format, it can't do that. And I, it's, it's not necessary, but I like it. So there are a couple of plugins you need to download. I will leave them linked below. But in order to download them, you go up to preferences, get plugins, and then you'll search for them. You go to not installed and filter by name. I have a few different ones installed here. These KEPUB ones are the ones you're gonna want to install. And like I said, I'll have them linked below as well as the Kobo Touch, I believe. But those will be listed and you can search them in here and then click install. But I already have them, so I don't need those. Then when you have multiple books that you want to convert to the KEPUB format, you can highlight the ones you want. You click convert books. And there are a few different options here. Um, this, I haven't messed around with this at all, but you can choose different font information, which is very interesting because not all books have the same font size. I've really noticed this, especially books that I have gotten from NetGalley before NetGalley changed their format that they were using. Some of them were just crazy huge. So maybe this is something I will check out in the future, but for now I haven't, I haven't changed any of these settings, but technically there's fonts, there's text, there's layout and styling. This, this is all a little above me yet. Maybe I will mess around with this at some point. But the only thing that I do right now is I come to output format and I scroll down to KEPUB. And that's gonna change it from the format that it's currently in, which is an EPUB, and turn it to the Kobo EPUB. You do that. Down here, it showed that there was two jobs working and it's already done. So now these are both Kobo EPUBs. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hook up my Kobo to my computer. One thing I had to learn the hard way is I had to use the cord that came with my Kobo in order to transfer my files. For whatever reason, it wouldn't use another similar cord. So I'm not sure why that is, but once you've connected it, you will need to hit connect on your Kobo. That will kind of wake it up and it will pop up over here that it has a device connected. So we just gotta wait for that. Okay, now my device is up here. All I'm going to do is drag these two that we just did into the device and then already it's done. Now these, this box where it says main is already checked and those are on the device. I'm gonna just do that with a bunch of my other ones here right now. I have a bunch of stuff for our homeschool that I wanted to transfer over, so do that. And on the bottom here, it'll say how many jobs it's doing. And then once it's done, they will have check marks. There we go, those are all done. So that's all it takes to get your books from Project Gutenberg onto your Kobo. Now I'm going to eject my device and then it takes a few seconds for the Kobo to actually transfer the files, it seems. If you wait a few seconds on the Kobo, it'll show you that it's importing content and I make sure I don't um, unplug anything until that's done. I don't know if that's like actually when it works or if it works when it says it is on the on Caliber. I'm confused by that. So that's all there is to it. There is Lindsay Lee by Elizabeth Gaskell. And right now you can't see how much time is left in the book because I haven't started reading it. As soon as I've started reading it, it will guess how much time it's going to take me to read the entire thing. But right now it says 1% read and sleeping. And that is how simple it is to move books over to Project, from Project Gutenberg onto the Kobo. And for me, the huge game changer item is being able to have the cover on the front of my Kobo. Because Project Gutenberg doesn't usually have a cover, I like that I can go in and add one because once I'm reading a book, I can forget about it if I don't see the cover. I no longer, like if I don't have a physical book out, this really almost feels exactly the same in that way where the cover reminds me, oh yeah, that's the book I'm reading. I'm excited to read it. So hopefully this helps you. 
Like I said, if I come across any FAQs as people try to use this tutorial, I will leave them pinned in the comments, so it will be the top comment or in the description, and all the technical details, the things you need to download, will be in the description as well. I hope this helps you.